Hello. In this video, we show you how to use Langchain and Alama to implement a RAG system by which you can connect your own data source to a large language model. In a RAG system, the user first asks a question. This question is then converted to a numeral representation using an embedding model. The user can also use an external data source like a PDF file or a website. This data is also embedded and the results are stored in a database called Vector Store. The Vector Stores performs a semantic search using the input question and select a set of embedded vectors from the external data source. This relevant data is then used as a context for the Large Language Model, or LLM, to expand its knowledge. This way, the LLM can provide more specific or relevant responses to the user's questions. In this video, we show you how to implement such a system using Alama. Alama is an open source project that serves as a powerful and user-friendly platform for running LLMs on your local machine. To get familiar with Alama, please watch our previous video about it. Now let's see how we can implement a RAG system using Alama. To begin, we first install Langchain. This can be done using this command. The installation may take a few seconds or minutes. You may also need to install Chroma DB and Beautiful Soup. Next, we need to install Alama embeddings. To do so, you first need to install Alama. Please refer to our previous video to see how you can install Alama. After that, install Alama embeddings using this command. Nomic is the Alama embedding model, which can convert a text into a numeral representation. Next, create a Python file and copy these lines into it. Using these lines, we can import the required libraries from Langchain. Please refer to our previous videos to get familiar with Langchain. After that, we define our LLM using this line. In this example, we use Mistral. We then specify a set of URLs from which we can get additional data for our LLM and load them into a set of documents using these lines of code. We now define our text splitter by which we can convert our documents into a set of chunks, each of a specific size. In this example, DocSplits contains our data chunks. We now define our vector store which applies our embedding model on each of the obtained data chunks and store them in a database. For this purpose, we use Chroma DB and specify Nomic as our embedding model. After that, we define our vector store as a data retriever. When we feed a query to our LLM, the retriever performs a semantic search and fetches the most relevant chunks and use them as a context for our LLM. This way, we can expand our LLM knowledge with our custom data. Now let's build our chain and ask a question from our LLM without using Rack. To do so, we first define a chat prompt template. In this example, our template is what is topic, where we put topic in brackets to make it a variable. We then connect our prompt to our LLM using the pipe operator. Also, we connect the output of our LLM to an output parser. We then pass our question to the chain using the invoke method of the chain. We here set the value of topic to Alama. So our final prompt will be, what is Alama? Now let's run our code and see the result. Depending on your GPU speed, this may takes a few seconds. As you can see, without using RAG, our LLM doesn't know anything about Alama, which is expected. Now let's build our chain using RAG to connect our specified URLs as a knowledge base for our LLM. This can be done by defining a new prompt template that contains a context part and a question part. Specifically, we instruct our LLM to answer the question using the provided context. This way our LLM can provide more relevant responses to our specific queries. We now define our RAG chain by defining our prompt template which requires a context. To define the context, we pass our retriever as a data source. We then connect our context to our prompt and pass the combined prompt to our model. The output of the LLM is then passed to our output parser. To get more information about runnable pass-through, please watch our previous videos. Finally, we invoke our RAG chain by passing our question to the invoke method of the chain. Now let's run the code again and see the output result using the RAG chain. As you can see, this time, the output response is accurate and relevant. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.